Monday, and welcome to a brand new edition of Triple Chips Adventures Vlog. For this is the backyard outdoor edition. The last video you've seen, we were uh, putting this together. This one, going to be throwing in some oil, gassing it up, going to be ripping up some ground here. So let's just get these fluids in here first. So we'll do the oil first. It looks like you almost got to pull back on this box a bit to turn it. So to make it a bit easier, I think I'm just going to tip it on the side before I get any gas in this. So we're going to be a little bit easier to work on. So just tip her on her side. I should put something to kind of hold this until you have this straight up and down. simply going to use the oil they supplied with it is the Viper 1030 engine oil so I imagine once you run out you can probably just use regular car 1030 and just make sure it's a four cycle one though so you might actually have to get the proper stuff to stick that in there like so a little balancing act here I'll just deal with the key work as well. Need some oil in there, so we're just gonna watch and make sure it doesn't overflow here. And I assume too, look on the thing. It doesn't show an indicator or anything, so you probably just fill it right full. Whoa, she's going over. Can't get a better grip on it. Looks like she's almost full. Pop that up for a second just to have a look. Oh no, she still needs a little bit more in there. Yeah. So basically, it takes whatever they supply with it, so which is 12 fluid ounces, or in Canada, 591 mils. Yeah. that they don't have a they actually check the oil like you just if it's got oil but no level checker though um, oh it's hard to start in there they got this cover so close They could have put like an indentation in here or something. I'll just snug it up. 
Okay, that's closed. Make sure of these containers that you turn up to a recycling place. I'm simply just putting in regular gasoline. What the heck was that one? What? Well, kind of weird. There's another oil one on this side too. Hopefully, oh, that was oil. Yeah, it was. It says oil on there. Maybe this one's got a depth indicator. Oh yeah, it does. Whoa. This one, this side is where you check it over here. I pulled this one out. I'll tip it up that way and show you guys. But it's full. This side actually got the indicator, so just strange they got two different locations. I'll put that back in. I clean up a little bit of oil around down the side of it. But good to know. Didn't even get getting on the ground. It's dry there. Just a little bit started running down the side of this. Back to the task at hand is to put some fuel in this. Getting there. Okay, that'd be considered a full tank. If you just look inside, there's a little indicator. Don't fill it right up to this past the screen. So that's considered full. Simply put this back in. Get it close. Don't lock on. We'll just move this stuff off here. For now. So we're going to do a cold start on the Victory Earthquake. So the front you got here, that dual set in the off position. So you simply just turn that to on. And you're just going to put it on choke to get it started. And then let's hope for the best. So cold start on the Victory. Get that choke off. Oh, and there's a speed indicator here also. That rabbit to turtle. That would be 
Oh, I can't see that one. That's so cool. There's a swing in here. I thought there was another switch here. That would be nothing. Fuel on. Run position. I thought you set the throttle on this too, but... Okay, we'll try it with the run position. Oh. <laughs> But I think that's to turn the blades on. Maybe something to shut off here. Fuel on. Run position on. Let's just turn this to about halfway point. Okay. Starting place hand here. Well, just, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to read through the manual. There's got to be something else that I don't have on. Well, take two. I think I got the problem solved. This actually pushes down. This is your throttle. It goes from turtle to rabbit so I'm gonna put it about midpoint leave this in the run position gas on and here I was thinking this was to turn your blades on instantly but you got to engage that to on this simply just shows for you to go forward and reverse and maybe this I don't know what that is that could be for your blades but we're gonna get this thing started so we got in the on position Take two on the cold start. You have to push down while you're going. Get this thing to dig. Well, let's try it again. I think I'm sitting on the bottom level already, so we'll turn it back on again.
lot of forest because we're just breaking fresh ground here. We moved the motor home the other day. So we're just going to throw you guys some time lapse because it's going to take quite a while to do. As you can see the garden's all tilled. I'm going to have to go over it one more time. The one thing, I, my tiller stopped, so what I had to do is you take this bolt off, and there's two holes in here, so I put it up to the higher one just so it'd give it more throttle, and that fixed the problem, so everything's good. We're just going to have to finish this off another day, but at least it's a start. So if you like what you've seen here on this edition of Triple Tips Adventures vlog, make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell notification button. And show some kindness. Give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, vlog over. Okay, enjoying the vlog? Why not check out these other videos? Might be on Unbox the Box. Might be on this channel, Triple Chips Adventures Vlogs. Or it might even be on Down the Hatch 2. Just click on the links below. Sometimes there'll be videos. One time, if it's my picture, it'll be a subscribe button. So just hit on those. Catch you next time. Have a great day.